They're called Italianos when they're about this size. A little smaller than an Americano. I don't know why they call it an Italiano. Maybe Italians do less water, whatever. It's good. Okay. Just gonna hang out by the fridge. <laughs> She's hanging out by the fridge because it's giving off a lot of heat and I guess she's warm here on this little kitchen towel that was on the floor. If you saw the last vlog, I just did a knife giveaway, or I'm doing a knife giveaway. And now I'm about to sit down and reply to every single comment. You guys commented over 1,200 times. Okay guys, I've been scrolling for like 30 minutes, it's like impossible to get down there. So I'm just gonna have to choose it at random. I'll do my giveaways different next time. Instead of commenting on each one of y'all's comments, I'll probably just have you guys comment with a number. Random number between one and 1,250. The answer is 108. All right, commenter 108. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, see who was that commenter, and then you won the knife. All right, so Weekly Sugar, looks like you won the knife. Really awesome, I'm gonna hit you up on your TikTok. And if she doesn't respond, uh, obviously the giveaway's gonna keep going. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, but uh, I will announce if she responded or not. I am so freaking stoked about this. So uh, I just got the rest of the merch. These are already live on the site. Check that out. So let me give you a closer look. So here's Ladybird right here. It even has her name on the collar. She's holding a little umbrella. And this is supposed to be salt raining from the sky that she's holding salt and it's falling out. And then we got the flaky salt right here. This is probably my favorite shirt ever now. Uh, go check it out. Link is in the description and it's in my bio everywhere. Okay, so this row of birds or bird baths, we're calling them, I think they're called bird baths. So there's that one, that's the, the bada bing. And then this one's really fun, the lemonade. Uh, these are just some more cool ones that I'm working on with Spiceology. Uh, this is by the Grill Dads. Really cool dudes. I just went out there. I just went out there yesterday with Zach, and he was filming, and I was helping out with the shoot. Really check awesome two, guys. Check one, check two. The Grill Dads. Testies, testies. Outside in the forest. One, Wilderness. Two. Bees are here. Three. A lot of bees. Audio check. There we go. There we go. How we need this for? All right, some camp biscuits. Thank you, Grands. Pillsbury, we love you. Ready? Two guys are characters, man. I think they're on Food Network or something like that. I hope to do some videos with you guys soon, so stay tuned for that. So I thought I would show you guys, <clears throat> I thought I would show you guys how I sharpen my knives on this little vlog, whatever we're calling this on YouTube. Um, so first, 
Here's one of my favorite knives. This is a Mizono. See the little dragon on there? I love this knife. Um, it's a mass produced one, but I, I mainly love it because it's when I did my first pop up in New York. I went to this really awesome store called Corin. It's like in Manhattan. And uh, they, they're just like one of the best knife shops in the world. Amazing stuff. Anyways, I'm kind of going off here. Um, Couple of things when doing your knives. Um, if you are not used to doing this and you need some sort of guide uh, on your whetstone, so you could do a book of matches like this. I'll give you a closer look at that. As you can see, it's angled just like that. That's why the book of matches is great for like a little guide at sharpening your knife. Or you could do three quarters, about three quarters as well gets you there. So either one, three quarters, matchbook. Then as you sort of get the feel for it, um, you'll just, you'll be able to like sort of feel along the stone where you're at, where you want it to be. Also, stones. Um, I don't have that good of a collection of stones, to be honest. I have two, uh, but it's only the ones I need, really. I've got a 400 grit, 1000 grit stone, double sided. And then another double sided, sided is a 1000, 6000 grit. So all this means is this is coarser, well, this side, this 400 is coarser and then it gets finer gradually as you go up. So we go from coarse and then we go up to the finer one and then up to the finest one. There are way finer ones than 6000. I think it goes like 10,000 and up, I'm not sure. But uh, mainly, this is just like, so you could get that edge work going. And if your knife isn't too dull, you just wanna go the finer ones, just sort of like polish up, hone the blade. Well, not hone the blade, but you know, you're polishing up the blade. Go to Bob Kramer's video on YouTube if you want like a real breakdown on sharpening knives. But anyways, yeah, um, once you get to that 6,000 grit that I have here, that's just polishing the blade. Okay, get a container of water, soak it in that, right? And then these right here, you can find them at Target or Walmart. Uh, these are great, like, I don't know what you call them. Um, you guys know what they are though, if you see it, right? These are like some grippy mats. I think they call them like, um, I think they call them like pantry mats or something like that. You put them in your pantry. It's like a dollar or two dollars for a big roll. And you just cut it up to the size you need, right? So I place that down. Then my stone goes down on that. Let me get you guys down here. Yeah, so you can see that there, stone here. So now it's it's gripped, it's gripped tight. Put three quarters down right here. Three quarters down. And then boom, look at that. Perfect angle, that's what I want. What I do here is just sort of work your way all the way down the entire blade. You want to put pressure on the blade, not the handle. We're not sharpening the handle. Pressure on the blade, about one to two pounds of pressure. Now, another thing I like to keep on deck is a little squeezy bottle or spray bottle. They're called spray bottles. Anyways, um, I got this at Target for like a dollar in the Target dollar section. Uh, yeah, you want a spray bottle because uh, you want to have to re-wet that stone every now and then and this is like the easiest way to do it. Now we use the stones to take care of our knives, right? But we have to also remember to take care of the stones because they're a big investment. We want to take care of that investment. So, so you got to get one of these guys. This is, uh, I'm not sure quite the name, it's escaping my head. You can look this up. It's basically to straighten out your stone. You see how it has like all these little ridges here? So what we're gonna do is sort of rub this against the stone. I'll just show you. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of going lopsided. You can barely tell. That will affect the way your knife sharpens, right? It won't come out good. And we just uh, sort of like circular motion work the stone and it will flatten out and be smooth and uh, straight. 
as you can see there's it's not being touched in the middle because the middle is not as raised as these guys here so that just shows that it needs to be straightened out here is one of my all-time favorite knives this is an aura made by my buddy noah in long beach california look at the gorgeous onyx stone handle with that buckeye burl the reason why it's gray is because he ages the wood with some sort of fungus and it looks amazing this is just a beautiful knife i've used this many years on the line i love this thing he also makes this smaller one called the aura chakra which is another beautiful knife But yeah, this one goes for, I think like nine or nine or 1100 bucks, something like that. Amazing knife, this will last you forever. So basically we're using 75 cents to sharpen a $900 knife. Now what you wanna do after sharpening on the first stone is you wanna run your fingers like this, run your fingers along the edge and it should feel sort of like a fishing wire. Like you should feel a rough line going all the way across. If you do, that means you've done the right work and you're able to go on to the finer stone. Now, once you're done with the whole sharpening process, uh, I like to run mine through a leather strop. I don't have a normal strop. Mine is a quite the custom, quite unique. This is my strop. It's a knife sheath. It's made for the knife to protect it. Noah made this. Um, amazing dude. Um, so yeah, so this has the leather on this side. So what I do is I take that, run it on the strop like five, 10 times on each side. And then that will give us a razor edge. This is why you see like barbers do this with their um, their shavers and stuff, they'll run it on the strop. It really polishes up that edge and gets you a razor sharp edge. Then once you're done with all that, you have to have yourself a knife honing steel. Need this guy, so whenever you're done with your knives, whenever you're about to use your knives, you wanna hone that blade, because uh, that blade can sometimes get crooked over time after use, and you just need to straighten the blade out. So what I do, I'll, I'll just sort of I'll pretend like I'm cutting a piece of corn cob. Like, I'll just run it along the edge like that. Preferably on a flat surface. This is not meant to sharpen the knife, by the way. This only hones the blade, that's it. Nothing else. Also, just wanna say thank you so much for following along. We're almost gonna reach 200K, and as you know, I just did that knife giveaway in this video, but, Make sure to stay tuned, hit that bell, because I'm gonna be giving away one of these when I reach 200,000 subscribers, which is coming up very soon. So I'm gonna give away this exact knife, one of these, Miyabi Birchwoods. Miyabi's gonna be partnering with me and giving one of these away, because you guys are really awesome, and I just wanna do that to celebrate 200K, and thank you guys for following along. So stay tuned for that, hit that bell, and uh, make sure to remind me when I hit 200K, but I won't forget, I will, uh, make sure to give one of these away. Thank you so much. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little vlog format. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. Make sure to like that video, it really helps me out. Hit the bell and I'll see you in the next one.